on this episode of Lapeef, let's talk. Yeah, with just pubic hairs on their face, spread out, faces all in the oh, y'all, that shit my, off. My dog, man. y'all better stop talking about my dog. No. <laughs> hey, Quest, I got you, man. Hey, I'm gonna give y'all a gym because it all depends on where it's not connecting at. You gotta let it grow. Some of the guys don't want to go through that stage where you gotta let it fill in because that hair will cover over those little spots. And if it's too thin, because when I first started my shit, my shit was thin. I'm like, damn, this shit look weird as hell. I hate the motherfucker shit thin as hell, just come straight out like this. What the hell is that? You know, let that shit grow. If you can't get it up here and you got it down there. Let it grow all the way down there. That way you can give it the illusion that it's a little bit more fuller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make sure you watch your barber because your barber, I don't go to the barber. I think I know hair, but if you do go to the barber, make sure you watch your barber because your barber had the tendency to cut it the way he wanted to look. Uh-huh. So if you yeah. nod off and you fall asleep or something like that, you wake up like, bro, what happened, man? I, just, I don't know what he did. Is that a dude or a chick? Because we can't tell no more. The more y'all add these enhancements to y'all, the more somebody can easily look like y'all. No, but I think y'all be really mad that somebody that came to y'all house or something, they just left their lashes somewhere because a woman is going to break break your house in if she's comfortable enough to lay her lash. Like, Come on, on no, we can't. This too far. <laughs> <laughs> can't be doing that. Listen, I you can't can be leaving down. caterpillars on people's suits and stuff, man. <laughs> Mistaken for logic roaches. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, let me let me ask this question Dude, though. Asking. Y'all, the women that do that, all the enhancements, all of that, when you go out without it, do you feel naked without it? Does it take away from your confidence level? It doesn't mm. take away from the confidence, but I do feel naked. No. I would say for most women, it does. Like, speaking as an observer, because I don't do all that, like, I think that women that say, most women that say it doesn't affect that are lying. I think that's why they do it, because it makes them feel so much different. It's too early, but that's okay. My gym workout was phenomenal. Before I went home, I decided to stop over my mother's house. I haven't seen my mother in two months. I know she's going to be very surprised to see me. I can't wait. What the? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The first thing I noticed was this person's skin. What is going on? Uncomplicated, untreated skin? Who is this guy? I had to take a step back, but then I realized it was my brother. But look at his skin. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? I had to take a closer look and figure out what was going on. Best believe I crept up on it. Peep this. I'm still looking at his skin trying to figure out how did we get here? I could do nothing but shake my head. He could definitely use my help. I had to get to the bottom of this. He definitely needed some game to buy his skin. I'm just staring at it like looking at it. Come on, bro. I knew what to do. I had to reach in my bag and get that tease handling. Uncomplicated skincare for men. Bro, this is why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as the sponsor of today's video. They have helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and the grime on your skin, a two times per week, exfoliating scrub to get rid of the dead skin cells an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night my brother was so excited my favorite part about teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product how much to use and in what order they really make the process of achieving and maintaining an amazing skin easy Shout out to Tej Hanley. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and not only will you get Tej Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. Click that link and get started today for just $30. Feel the Tej. Let the Tej force be with you. I would say it's like... I'm at a base, for example, I'm at a base level of 
confidence and then when I put you know lashes on or you know do eyeshadow it puts me above that confidence level where I'm like okay you know a little glam whatever but I'm still coasting without it I'm still coasting at a confident level why would you know I'm a coach why would I not you know like why would I not manage that because the confidence is up to me but I think like Carmen said for probably a lot of women they they have to have it or they won't go out or something like that. And that's, that's unhealthy. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead. I was going to say, I'm just going to give you ladies some advice. I mean, the more natural it looks, the better the guys like it. So just make sure it's not uh, too much. Sometimes too much is just too loud. And some, some men don't want to walk out in public with all that loud shit. Mm. Now, if you roll, if you roll playing or something like that in the bedroom might be a different story. But other than that, yeah. Man, got ain't nobody role playing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you, right, Ty? I we do role play, but <laughs> these chicks is not role playing. You know what role playing is for them when they don't have it on. Be like <laughs> 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 I, I, I like what you did there, but no, you tried it. You tried it. <laughs> yo, when y'all don't have it on, you be like, yo, who was that young man over there in that corner? Not, not young man. <laughs> like a construction worker. <laughs> who was that young man over there in that corner? <laughs> <laughs> I hate this for us so much. I hate this. No, yo, yo, let's just be real. Some people look better with it on. <laughs> y'all keep acting like y'all want these chicks natural. Y'all lying. Y'all lying, bro. Everybody. All of us are natural down here. I don't know. <laughs> yo, yo, Anton. I was, I was talking, I was talking trash about uh, Nicole Murphy not hitting the wall, right? So my wife was like, "Oh, really?" She went and found a Instagram post where Nicole Murphy didn't have no makeup on. It destroyed my world, bro. I was like, "Nah, bro." <laughs> I was done. <laughs> Yo, I want you to put your best foot forward. That's all I'm asking. I'm I'm just asking for consistency. That's all I want. Like, don't do too much. Don't be over the top. Put your best foot forward, and we good. Like, I'm straight. I don't want it caked up. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want you looking like a completely different person. And I'll just do a, do a couple little things here and there, yo. Like, listen, tomorrow... When I get my lineup, I'm getting my beard. I'm I'm getting my junk dyed. I'm getting all of that. I ain't gonna see no gray, none of that. Like, I'm just gonna keep it 100. Like, that's just the way it is. Shit, I'm about to cut the beard off tomorrow. Yeah, right. What? Don't um, do that. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, seriously, like small little, just be consistent and don't don't be looking crazy with it. And I'm good. I'm straight. I ain't tripping off that. Yeah. I'm gonna shave my beard off and go get baptized. So, yeah. <laughs> don't do it. My vote is no. It's a whole new me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys just tuning in, welcome to a lot of people. Let's talk. Make sure you get the likes up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, shout out to the sponsor, T Channel. Make sure you guys feel the T's thirty percent off along with a free gift. That link is in the description. Yeah, I'm gonna shave the beard off, man. Go ahead and just get the goatee. I'm gonna take it back. That's how I used to wear it. I don't think um all these men had beards before. I had masks for a little minute. My, my shit just curl up. It's actually pretty long, but that's how it used to be. Now I had the goatee too, but I think yeah. I don't know. Nowadays, I didn't realize how much women like beards until now. Like you know, because I considered oh, my, it's a well kept beard though. Well kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to take care of it. And a and a beard that connect. That's that's another issue. That's fact. Now, niggas walking around here with just pubic hairs on their face, spread out, faces all in. Oh, y'all, that shit off. Y'all, my dog, off. y'all better stop talking about my dog. No. <laughs> hey, Flex, I got you, man. Got you. That shit, I, hey. 
<laughs> hey, but I'm gonna give y'all a, a gym because it all depends on where it's not connecting at. You gotta let it grow. Some of the guys don't want to go through that stage where you gotta let it fill in because that hair will cover over those little spots. And if it's too thin, because when I first started my shit, my shit was thin. I'm like, damn, this shit look weird as hell. I hate the motherfucking shit thin as hell, just come straight out like this. What the hell is that? You know, let that shit grow. If you can't get it up here and you got it down there, let it grow all the way down there. That way you can give it the illusion that it's a little bit more fuller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your barber because your barber, I don't go to the barber because I ain't got no hair, but if you do go to the barber, make sure you watch your barber because your barber had the tendency to cut it the way he wanted to look. Uh-huh. If you nod off and you fall asleep or something like that, you wake up like, bro, what happened, man? I, just, I don't know what he did. 